Hello guys, thank you for clicking and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, everything actually. So um, we're gonna do a social media post uh, inspired by MTV. I've been a fan of MTV since like forever. Um, there's a lot of things that you have to consider when creating posts, especially if, uh, for Instagram and Facebook. A 1080 uh, by 1080 um, pixel. So that will be the standard, so it's copyright is there. I like the writings and the title needs to be catchy is the image. Um, you have a good, I like elements that you will be using. Some sort of that, so like repeating pattern and all that. Color palette, uh, there's a good contrast as well. So you will see this along the way while we're uh, we're gonna do the project. This is an Instagram, you need to have a call to action. Let's say shop now or 20% um, off. Uh, if you wanna modify uh, the size, you can go up here. Uh, another plus sign, you can go for 1080 uh, by 1080. I don't use... Um, actually, I'm gonna use uh, 150 for the DPI just to make it more crispier. Okay, let's create that. So it's a square, so you don't have to worry. Uh, why don't we, we're gonna use a color palette that is oops, like this one. So we're gonna use this color palette because we're doing MTV. That usually is a good palette for uh, depends on what they're posting, but this just really is catches your attention when you're on the feed of Instagram or Facebook. Uh, so we're just gonna clear that. And since we have the color palette here and the history, uh, you, you will have that throughout. And what we're gonna do first, um, I think our background will be this one. Uh, we're gonna make it a little darker too much and then for the image we're gonna look for kind of a celebrity that is on right now so we're gonna go for I think Olivia Rodrigo is hot right now on MTV so we're gonna create images okay so uh, we're gonna add HD okay uh, we're just gonna select I think this one, yeah, this is a great image. So we're gonna save it and we're gonna insert the image. So this one, we can make sure that it has a good um, sizing because we have to put the title right there. So I think we're gonna put it here. All right, so selection automatic. We're gonna select the background and we're gonna invert it and then we're gonna mask it uh, mask and then what we're gonna do after we mask it uh, we're gonna oops and select it we're gonna select the lay, la, uh, layer mask and then we're gonna go for a brush to uh, reveal this part right here. Oops. Make sure that you go white so it shows the face that we just erased. So. All right, so obviously you can take time to do this, but I don't have that time. Uh, so we can go to the next one. So what I'm gonna do here is to um, uh, do the hue and saturation, which is under layer. And we're just gonna make sure that it blends like with the yellow, because that's all we're aiming for uh, from the beginning. So we're gonna make it yellow. Okay, that's kind of yellow, so we're going to create a layer. And then that layer, we're gonna color this one right here. Make sure that you clip it so it won't go anywhere. 
and then we're going to blend it to color yep that's kind of yellow that's the one that I'm aiming for uh, we're gonna put the logo of MTV so this is the MTV logo it's actually black at the moment but we can make it white so to do that, we're going to go to Hue and Saturation layer. We're just going to make it white all the way to the max right here. And actually, it will be helpful if you turn on the drawing guide. So you have some alignment that will go on. Uh, for At the moment, we're going to turn it on so we know where to put the logo. So it is actually here. So we're just going to put it right there. So we have a, like a breathing room right here. Um, we're going to look for headline. Okay, so we're going to copy this. So all you have to do is to drag it. I'm not trying to copy uh, the copyright. It's, it's just for entertainment purposes. Uh, so what we're going to do on action, we're going to add uh, we're going to insert text, paste. Uh, the alignment of text will be like on the right to the right. Um, okay, let's try to... Okay, let's turn off the alignment feature. So canvas, so you can see what's going on in there. Oops. Okay, let's try to edit this. Edit text. Put this and then we're gonna put it. Oh, they have Futura. Um, bolt. I think this one needs to be white instead. Yep, so uh, what I'm not a fan of is uh, the pink background. So we're gonna make a texture uh, on the background. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make a paint. We're gonna do, I think we're gonna do a touch up and then we're gonna do maybe like old skin just to give it a texture like that. And suppose this is a carousel, so we're gonna put some arrow. Okay, so we're gonna add text. Let's put it right here. Then we're gonna put a, let's see. This one. But we're gonna put the color yellow. So it has more like something in there. I think that's it, but we can always duplicate this and then we're going to offset it a little bit and on that we're going to put it under the original text and then we're going to make it raster it, rasterize it. Uh, we're going to off lock it and then we'll see if this is going to work. Yeah, so it has more like texture or whatever you call that. And yeah, that usually is how one of the technique, but there's a little bit more than this, but you can start with this. It's just gonna be a good post. So we're gonna save it. Uh, share uh, JPEG. And we're gonna save it as image. And then we'll try to go to my Instagram here. We're gonna save it. I'm gonna make it bigger. So this is perfect right here. We're just gonna go. Now let's see. Without the dark mode. Yeah, it looks like it's legit uh, from MTV. So um, the way I did it was 
So that's a Z pattern. So this is where your eye look first. And it goes here like a title and then you can see there's a white space in here which is a nice touch. Actually it doesn't matter. You see the look and then this is the last part that your eyes will see which it guides you to click or slide and you will see the rest of the content, right? Hope you learn from this and I'll see you later.